Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jodeci. How y'all doing? And today I got a drink. You know? <clears throat> mm. Alright, so this is going to be a real quick story time. And it's the time that I was accused of stealing from a store. Right? Um, And I was, actually I was accused of stealing from a whole day. Like, hella weird. Hella weird, right? So... I had one friend with me, and I'm gonna name her Turmeric. Okay, so this story takes place, and I was in high school. I want to say 15 years old, sophomore year of high school, I believe. All right, so my dad has always gone to like Costco and like BJ's and things like that. And he used to bring back like the big boxes of Doritos, the big boxes of like. Vars Krispies and like all of that, right? And you know, all that stuff, it comes in a big box and then you have little boxes, like the little packages inside for your like every day so you can pack your little lunch or whatever you want, right? So this stuff is obviously labeled like not for individual sale. Remember that, all right? So remember that because I'm gonna get into it. So I used to take, um, like I used to just take like a few things of everything and I think on that day I was actually planning on like ending my day early so I had grabbed like a lot like a lot more than I normally would grab and I stuffed it all in my bag right this is I'm stuffing it in my bag in my house because these are the boxes of treats that my daddy had bought right okay so I made up with turmeric before school this is literally before school so I actually see her in front of the school and she decides that hey we should like let's want to come with me to go get breakfast right so how it worked is I lived about two blocks away from my high school and I saw her on the corner so I was walking past my high school because the store was six blocks past the high school so here's where I'm supposed to be and here's where I'm going right <laughs> I don't think I was, was I early? I think I was early that day or I was just okay with coming late. Who knows what was up with me? I was a very interesting child in, in high school. I do not recommend. I do not recommend. So, we're going to the store and I, well, on our walk to the store, we're just talking, we're hanging out, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of a long walk, so it's not really a long walk. It kind of goes by fast. So, we're walking together to the store and she goes in and she orders her, um, she orders her food but before she orders her food let me tell you the setup of this door so there is one door on this side and then there's one door towards the back so if you walk in on this door on this side the front door which is the one we actually ended up walking in through because even though the door right here was closer to where we were trying to go I don't know what made us walking through that door maybe they had a sign that said please use other door or maybe it was full or something like we walked over there but this door is the door that's directly a car across from like the deli station so you know where you would get your like your bacon egg and cheese it's right across from there to your left if you walked in you would have the tables to the right you would have all the snacks and the counter and the fridges and stuff like that for when you walk in so if you walk in that way in this door you come in see deli tables snacks refrigerators right then if you walk in from this door you would come in, you would see um, the counterman would be the first person that you pretty much saw and the line of fridges and then you would see the snacks and the snacks was in between the deli man and the thing, right? So I walk in, we both walk in through that door and we go straight to the, um, the deli counter, right? So we go straight to the deli counter because one, I already got a bag full of snacks, I don't need no damn snacks and then two she wanted to order like a bacon egg and cheese or something or like a bacon and cream cheese with hot sauce like weird high school stuff so we're all good she orders her food and right above the um like right below there's like the like the the deli case with all the meats and stuff like that and right under that they have like this little shelf and they have like these big like knishes and other things like rolls and stuff like that that are in like the plastic you know and they have them there stacked up so you can go ahead and do it so then I take my bag and I put my bag on top of these breads right I don't know what I was looking for I, I guess maybe um 
maybe she like came up a little short or she was asking me if I had a dollar or something like that because she wanted to get a drink, something. So I put my bag out and I'm, um, I look through, I give her a dollar. So I have my bag still on, like still on the bread, right? And I give her this dollar, let's say. And we're talking blah, blah, blah. This man comes from behind the deli case. This little Mexican man. He comes from behind the deli case. And he's like, oh, you stole it. You stole it. I'm like, what did I steal? I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, he stole it. I said, what did I steal? So he goes, like, my bag is still open in front of me. Because I'm not, like, I'm, I was talking to her. I wasn't really paying attention. And I had, like, one of those tote bags. So it's still open in front of me. He reaches in and he pulls out a singular Rice Krispies. And it wasn't like a long Rice Krispies or the regular size. It was kind of the mini ones. He's like this. And I'm holding it. And I'm looking and I was like, number one, I can clearly see it says like not for individual resale on it. And I was like, what do you mean? I literally came in with that. Oh no, you, you stole it, you stole it, you stole it. No, I literally, I was like, do y'all even sell, like, this size of, like, this size of Rice Krispie Treat? Because, like, you're not even supposed to sell this size of Rice Krispies Treat. Like, what? Are, these are the mini size for children's lunchboxes, for five-year-olds. Like, what are you talking about? So my friend, she starts going off on this man. She's like, but she said she didn't steal it. Like, what are you talking about? Blah, 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 blah. Because we had literally been in the store for I want to say like 10 minutes at this point maybe five seven something like that so she knows that we walked in from the door came to the deli counter I was talking to her the whole time and all of a sudden they're telling me I stole a damn rice krispie treat that don't make no sense like that don't make no sense so I'm looking at it and I'm like okay I don't understand why he's saying this I stole this rice krispie treat or whatever so he's telling me and mind you if he would have kept looking my bag I had like five more just like it like what are we talking about? So, he's telling me, I stole this Rice Krispies Krispie Treat. I have, like, chips and everything in there, too. But he's only really focused on this one Rice Krispies Treat. I think that's all he saw is the, like, the shiny blue tin foil of the damn Rice Krispies Treat. So, go ahead, I stole the Rice Krispies Treat. Sure. So, she's going off on this, like, man. And she's like, yo, she said she didn't take it. Like, are y'all serious right now? I'm just trying to buy a sandwich. Like, she's going off. And I'm like, yo, I really, like... I really didn't take it. So he's like, oh, so don't put, like, just don't put your bag on the bread. Like, take your bag off the bread. I said, well, damn, was there bread in my bag or was there Rice Krispie Treats in my bag? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm going to put a whole butter roll in my damn bag. Like, are we really serious right now? So I'm like, all right, all right, whatever. So I take my bag because you remember the only reason I had taken it down is to get something from my damn bag. So I put my bag back on my shoulder and I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So she gets her food. And when we're leaving, we leave again through the front door, right? Again, not through that back door, which is really right behind us. But I don't know why. So we're walking. And as we're walking, she's like, yo, do they even sell that shit here? And I'm like, I don't even think so, right? So I'm walking, like we're walking through the front and I'm scanning the layers and layers of candy. And then at the bottom, I do see that size Rice Krispie Street and it says not for individual sale. Sir, you're not even supposed to be selling this. Like what? You're not even supposed to be selling this and you don't think you would have noticed what I did. I grabbed it with my damn toe. Like it was literally like last row to the floor like i guess so the inspector could look right over it because baby you're not supposed to be selling that size literally that's not what it's for it's for people at costco not for you to be selling in your little your little dumb bodega like are you kidding so we leave i see it and i'm like all right i see it but i don't mention it i'm just like all right cool it is what it is right because it they had like they had um you know those little red stickers on it and they sold it for like 50 cents or something but i'm just like you would obviously saw that mine didn't have a price tag on it so like what you thought i literally sat there went down grabbed the damn thing with my toe threw it in my bag reached in ripped off the 50 cent price tag like sir i've only been in this store all about 10 minutes you're doing a lot so we leave and she is pissed off walking the whole way back to school and i am literally confused and i'm like yo I've honestly, like, I've stolen from stores before in high school. Like, you know, I have. 
you know. However, I've never been accused of stealing from a store. Like, it's one thing to get caught and you steal it. It's another thing to, like, be stealing, like, not be stealing and, and get caught. Sir, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh First of all, I've never stolen from a deli in my life. Only because, like, if I'm gonna steal from somebody, I'm not gonna steal from no mom and pop shop. I'm literally gonna, like, go to Walmart or something. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna steal. I'm, I'm Robin Hood with my stealing. Well, I was Robin Hood with my stealing, all right? Now I'm reformed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That was my story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me up on TikTok. Same name, Jodeci. Follow me on here if you haven't already. And on Instagram, it's a little bit different. It's chaos in letter N opportunity. And follow me there too. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys will see me, your girl Jodeci, a little bit later. Bye, guys.